U.S. Physics Olympiad 2010 the semi-final. Problem A. The spherical shell of inner radius A and the outer radius B is made of a material of resistivity rho and neglectable dielectric activity. A single point charge Q0 is located at the center of the shell. At time t equals 0, all of the material of the shell is electrically neutral, including both the inner and outer surfaces. What if the total charge on the outer surface of the shell as a function of time for t greater than 0? Ignore any effects uh, due to magnetism or radiation. Do not assume that B minus A is small. Solution. Uh, during all of this uh, process, uh, internal charge of uh, this uh, shell equals zero. So it means that only charge could be accumulated on uh, internal or internal surfaces of this shell. And now, uh, suppose that uh, in any period of time we have total charge uh, on outside surfaces Q. Uh, it means that uh, on internal side we have charge uh, negative Q and uh, it depends from time. Now we can write the uh, Ohm law for this uh, uh, disposition. In any point uh, inside of this uh, shell we have uh, Ohm law which uh, gives us uh, this equation. Current density equal electric field divided by resistivity. Due to symmetry, it depends on the distance from the center. And uh, we can count what is the total uh, electric field due to Gauss law. So, for uh, electric uh, field, we have this equation that uh, total electric charge equal uh, 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0 multiplied by total charge inside of this uh, sphere which is uh, q0 minus uh, q uh, where q is uh, charge on internal surface and divided by r square and uh, now we can rewrite that uh, total current will be area 4 pi r square multiplied by current density uh, which is uh, 1 over epsilon 0 rho multiplied by q0 minus q and now uh, because uh, current equal dq over dt we can write this uh, differential equation uh, dq over dt equal 1 over epsilon 0 rho multiplied by q0 minus q. And the last step is uh, to split uh, variables q and uh, t and uh, we have this equation uh, dq over q0 minus q equal 1 over epsilon 0 rho multiplied by dt. After integration we have this expression logarithm from 1 minus q over q0 equal negative t over epsilon 0 rho and uh, finally we can express uh, charge q as a function of time that will be this expression we see that for time equal 0 uh, charge equal 0 and uh, after a long time this part is going to 0 and the charge is going to Q0 on outside surface and uh, on inside surface that will be a uh, negative Q0. So that's the solution.